Texas lawmakers vowed to change the capital culture after a staffer reported she was drugged by a lobbyist. KXAN's Wes Rappaport has the latest on the investigation and a commitment from legislators to better protect their staff members. And I am disgusted that this sort of predatory behavior is still taking place in and around our capital. In a rare address to the House, Speaker Dade Phelan says lawmakers must do better to protect people who work under the dome. It's a response to DPS confirming a staffer claimed a lobbyist drugged her in a meeting near the Capitol. I stand here today having to address these disgusting, detestable allegations that are a symptom of a culture that has been festering in this building for far too long. Phelan instructed top lieutenants to create an email hotline for people to report misconduct, requiring all House members to post the information in their offices. He also mandated a transition from virtual sexual harassment prevention training to in-person. What we need is long-term change so that every single person in this building feels safe. State Rep Aaron Zwiener was one of more than 30 House lawmakers, all women, to sign a letter of support to Capitol staffers. We do have to have close relationships in this building, but having a close relationship is not an excuse for somebody to cross the line and harass someone. Calls for a culture change have happened before. When the House and Senate reviewed their policies in 2017, we heard similar statements. There are many governance structures, but maybe it's not spelled out as clearly as it should be in our handbook. Zwiener believes there's more work to do to snuff out gray areas. I think we already have a body that is more respectful towards women than they were a decade ago. It's still at least a decade behind the culture at large. Wes Rappaport, KXAN News. Lawyers for a person of interest in the case say their clients participating in the investigation and did not drug a Capitol staffer. It is important to note the rules governing sexual harassment reporting that the lawmakers overhauled in the previous session only apply to government employees working in the Capitol, not lobbyists.